Welcome back to another episode of our 1930 Hot Rod build. Coming at you from the Keeping the Glass Garage. Uh, today what we're going to do is paint the motor. Uh, it's going to be two separate days, obviously, because of drying and two different colors. So we already have it all cleaned up and we took everything off that we needed to take off uh, to get around it and getting all the nooks and crannies. So we'll show you that right now. We'll start off on the passenger side. You see that we took the exhaust and intake manifolds off. That's because we got other treats for that. Uh, everything else is disconnected. Uh, we're gonna go with the traditional green and black painting on here. I'm not gonna get crazy with the paint colors. I like the way the green looks, so that's why we're gonna do it. Uh, we took the bands off of the uh, generator and the starter. We're gonna clean those up. And uh, once we're done painting, we'll put those back on. Um, those should be nice stainless. I think they're stainless. Took that uh, water outlet off of here. That's just gonna make it easier to put the lower hoses and everything else back on anyway. So we took that off. Uh, I stuffed some of the shop towels and all the spots to where we could end up getting crap into the motor. Uh, what I like to do is I have old spark plugs that when I'm painting the motor, this one actually had a new set of spark plugs, so that's why I took them out. But I like to just kind of use the same ones just to throw them in. Even if there is an older set of spark plugs in there, if they're still good, I'll use them. But I'll put the old crappy ones in there for when I'm painting and cleaning, so that way I don't care what happens to these spark plugs. You know, I don't care if I get paint on them or, you know, any kind of cleaners or if I, you know, hit it with a sander or a wire wheel. So I took the good ones out, put these old crappy ones in there. So once we get around the paint and the green on the top here, that's when I'll take this little tie down off for the uh, armored cable there. I don't want to take it off and leave it off because that's how you leak coolant. So not that there's any coolant in there because there's no radiator, but just a good practice to get into to leave that on and tell you're ready. So we're going to order some more parts tonight as far as the ignition system. Uh, going to get a new cutout, uh, all new wires, want it to be safe. So I don't want any of the old wires fraying. Uh, another thing we already ordered and got was the new fan belt. Because if you can, let me put the camera down here and kind of show you. There's a lot of cracks already in this. And that's all the way around here. So I'm not going to chance it. So I just went ahead and ordered one from the Model A Medic. So, we'll put that on once we're putting everything back together, and uh, here goes nothing. Let's get after it. Oh, well, here we are. That's coat number one. A lot of this stuff is going to need two coats. So, but you can see the oil pan, the steering column, steering box, and everything right there. Starter, generator, the fan, the, the pulleys, and then the outsides of the pulleys. And then that drip tray down there. And then there's more of the oil pan. So, I'll touch it up again once this dries. Hit it with another coat and then it should be good because it's it's covering pretty well already and this all they used was a rust-oleum i think the farm implement black or whatever it's a low gloss uh, some of this other stuff will clean up like right here we'll clean that up before we put that back together so we got a new switch and then i'm not too worried about all these little drips here and there because i'll just do all the the fancy cutting in with the green. 
All right, we'll let this dry. All right, so here we are the next day. I ended up putting on, I think, two more coats after, uh, after the initial on the generator and the oil fill there. Looking good. Now we'll get on to the green. I don't know if you can see it under there, but yeah, start going on the green. Uh, show you what I have for the paint. Uh, it's the stuff. You can get it at any of the suppliers. I think I got this from Max or Eckler's. But it goes a long way. I've actually done a couple with that. And then for the tight spots, my uh, school art brushes. So, we'll get moving on that. Well, here we are. Got everything painted up. Looks way, way better. Looks awesome. Even Truman's excited. Right, Truman? Yep, he's excited. Started putting everything back together. We cleaned up those bands on the uh, generator and on the starter. And then here's our fuse block. We always like to put those in so that way you don't have any kind of a mishap. Now, we're waiting to hook up the throttle controls on there so we get all the rest of our stuff. We'll see that in the next episode, probably. But here's everything. Looks way better. I'm digging it. Got our new belt on there, too. So we're going to put a list together and uh, get the rest of the ignition stuff ordered up tonight. So if you got any questions, comments, we'd love to hear them. Write them in the comments below. We'll have our Instagram, Facebook, and website addresses. We'll put that in the uh, description below. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And check out the website, www.keepingclassicgarage.com. Truman says so. Right, Truman? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.